You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for men. This is a hot topic. With us, we have Orange County's hormone expert, Dr. Breen. Dr. Breen, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Randy. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know you, uh, I guess you have a, a practice of men and women for hormones. Correct. But today, specifically men. Uh, who's the typical patient that comes to you, by the way? Men and women, who comes to you? Sure. So the guy I'm about to describe, I see patients like this every single day. Let me give you a typical example of three guys that I've treated in the last couple months that I've helped. I had a guy, he's a friend of mine. I served in the Marine Corps with him. He was a career Marine for 20 years. He calls me up out of the blue because he read one of my blogs on testosterone and he says, Doc, I read your blog. He said, I'm suffering from low libido. I'm having erectile dysfunction and I need help. I said, how often are you having sex with your wife? He says, Doc, it's bad. I said, well, what's bad? He said, maybe once a month. I said, well, how are your energy levels? He says, my energy levels are terrible. I'm dragging myself to the gym. How old is this guy? How old is he's this guy? He's 44. Okay. He's been married for 18 years. Keep in mind, he's a career Marine. He's always worked out his entire life. He's used to being in shape. He's now he's to, just he's, tired. You right. Say. He's used to being a hard charger. He's working in corporate America. He calls me because he goes to his doctor and asks him to check his testosterone level because he realizes he has all the symptoms of testosterone decline. Okay. His doctor checks his levels. His levels are 350. Now, the range is 348 to 1200. So his doctor says, your, your levels are within a normal range, and you don't need testosterone, testosterone, testosterone is not your problem. So he calls me and says, Doc, is there anything I, you can do for me? I, I feel like I need testosterone. That guy flies out to see me. I put him on my program, and within a month, he's feeling amazing. What does that mean? He's now having sex with his wife again, regularly, and he's got two kids, so he's having regular sex with his wife. His energy, he's, his workouts are incredible. His strength and endurance at the gym, his workouts are improved. He comes home, and he has more energy for his wife and kids. That's a very common um, story of what happens. So your clinical experience, those kind of stories happen all the time? Yes, With just absolutely. testosterone? Well, no, it's not just testosterone. We look at all hormone levels. It's not okay. all just about testosterone. You know, guys go to their doctor and they say, well, I just need testosterone. There's testosterone. He happened to be on testosterone. I put him on DHEA, which is a precursor hormone, which we'll talk about. He actually needed some thyroid. So he's on testosterone. He's on DHEA. He's on some thyroid. He was deficient in vitamin D. So we give him vitamin D. We knew he had some nutrients deficiencies because we tested him. So there okay. were other things other than just testosterone that made him feel amazing. But testosterone is the feel-good hormone. It's what drives it's what's what drives our libido, increases our strength but and endurance. It can be dangerous though. You know, knowing you were coming on today. Right. Testosterone right. can be dangerous, speed up cancer growth, on and on, depending on what article you read. So Ab no, what's no, your no. response to that? No, absolutely not. Testosterone is not dangerous. In fact, the medical literature says the opposite. Having a low testosterone is dangerous. Having a low testosterone is associated with increased risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, triglycerides, decreased strength and endurance, decreased functioning. And actually, the, liter the literature says the opposite about cancer. The Journal of Circulation did a great study in 2007. They looked at 15,000 guys. Now, the Journal of Circulation is one of the most respected cardiovascular journals in the world. All right. What they found is this. They looked at 15,000 guys. Guys who had testosterone levels in the upper quartile of the normal range, so greater than 1,000, had a 25 to 30 percent reduction in, in overall mortality. That includes cancer. That includes heart disease. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Now, now, now my question, again, was typical patient. Okay. So 40-year-old 40, 40 right. men, 50-year-old men. Sure. So a typical patient, I had a, let me give you an example. I had a guy, he was 57 years old. He was an executive. He ran his company. He came in actually with his wife because their sex drive had fizzled. They didn't have the energy levels that they used to. Okay. And they wanted help. Now, she happened to go through menopause. So she had vaginal dryness. She had declining libido. Sex wasn't as enjoyable. It was a little bit more painful for her. He noticed that his erections weren't as firm. His libido wasn't there. So they weren't having sex as often as they wanted to. They also wanted to sail more. They wanted to hike more. And more importantly, what they said to me was this. And this is what I think will hit home with a lot of people watching this. Okay. They had a daughter who's getting ready to have their first grandchild. Now, their first grandchild is going to be born in three months. They said to me, we want to do everything we can to look and feel the best and live the longest and healthy life possible. What can you do for me? She got on hormones, so we put her on bioidentical hormones. We fixed his testosterone. He needed thyroid. He needed DHEA. He needed vitamin D, just like most of my patients do. And within a month, again, they felt amazing. They're having sex again. Her vaginal dryness is gone. They're hiking. He actually, and I'll show you my body composition. His body composition, he lost eight pounds of fat and put on 10 pounds of muscle, so he gained two pounds. He's working out. He's never felt better in his life. 
Uh, that's very, very typical in my practice. You love now, this, by the way. I love this. Because when I first talked to you on the phone, I said, this guy, I, I, I hung up the phone. Right. I love I this going, because this I love serious. this for this reason. It's changed my life. And let me okay, tell you why. Okay. So I'm running a private practice up in Orange County. I'm very busy. I got a, I got a two-year-old boy at home and I got a, seven, a wife who's seven month pre months pregnant. I don't have a lot of time. And what I noticed is this. I'm very in tune with my body because I've worked out my whole life. My workouts were suffering. I was having to convince myself to talk myself to go to the gym. I was getting injured more. I was having a harder time recovering. My libido was down. But is that like everybody? Yeah, I mean, you reach 40 and all of a sudden, I mean, you'd love to work out, you don't have the energy. When I start talking okay. about this to people in crowds, when I have a conversation with the guy next to me on the plane, they said, you just described me. Decreased libido, not waking up with morning erections as often as I needed to. I wasn't having sex with my wife as often as I wanted to, right? I went and saw Dr. Rougier, who's a mentor of mine out in Salt Lake City. I've heard City, of him. Right? Yeah. He, looked at, he looked at my blood work. And I actually brought it here for you just to show you because this is a very important point I want to, want to make. Okay. I had completely normal blood levels for my age. And, and that's a point that I want to drive home to our patients at home. You can have completely normal blood levels and have all the symptoms of low testosterone, of all the symptoms of hormonal Meaning imbalance. their doctor said your testosterone's exactly. fine. Exactly. Okay. If you look at what my testosterone level was in, Janu in February 2012, I had a testosterone level of 559. Now the range is... What does that mean? Does right, that, the range that... is 348 to 1200, right? So it's smack dead middle of normal. Well, we know that normal's not optimal. Normal just means if you take a thousand guys your age, and we check their testosterone levels, this is the range of what it's going to find. I don't want the normal testosterone for a guy my age, and you don't want the testosterone level of a guy your age. A 60-year-old guy who comes into my office is being told, you have a normal testosterone level, yes, for your age. Interesting. Where you, where you okay. want your testosterone levels is what you had when you were 18, which is when you looked the best so you're and felt the best. So you're replenishing hormones? You're replenishing hormones. So are they youthful levels? Let me give you a perfect example. Okay. I started taking testosterone. If you look at my testosterone levels, they went from 559 to over 1,500. And that's the high range. That's the high range. This is the obviously. optimal range, so over 1,500. Now, how did that change my life? Well, I start waking up with erections again. I want to have sex with my wife more often. I'm smashing it at the gym. I'm PRing every single workout I do. My energy what levels are improved. So personal records, correct? Okay. Personal <laughs> records. Okay. So people see at the gym, they might just say, what are you doing? Right. And, and what, I explain, you feel yeah, like. what I explain to them is this without changing anything. Now, I try and eat clean five days a week. I eat very clean. Two days a week, I get squirrely, and that's what I tell my patients. Five or six days a week, stay pretty disciplined with your diet and give yourself one day a week to indulge in the quality of, you know, in the, in the pleasantries of life. Um, but no, what I did was I started optimizing my hormone levels. My body fat went from 16% to 11%, which I have my in-body. Right 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 I have proof right here that my <laughs> okay, body set okay. decline. And um, I'm sleeping better. And more importantly, when I get home, I have the energy now to chase around a two-year-old. And anybody who's watching this, who's coming home, even if it's a 38-year-old guy, he comes home, he's gassed from work, he's tired, his wife's tired, they hand off their kids, they just want to sit down on the couch. Well, my energy level has bumped incredibly. And this is what I see with but my patients. But does this happen with your patients? I mean, the guy comes in 50 years old, dragging, right? Maybe he's a, you know, a, a, heads up a company. Because a lot of people tell me, you know, I just don't have the drive I used to. Correct. Ambition. And you say that that turns around as well. I see this in 90% of my patients, and let me give you the 10% the temp, where it's a little bit tricky. There's more than just hormones. So hormones are a huge part of feeling great. And when you get okay. testosterone, you'll take hormones. You have to work on nutrition. You have to get your patients sleep. You lay this out for them? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, if you get a guy, and I, ha I have a patient, I have a good friend of mine, I have a good friend of mine, whose hormones are optimized, he refuses to give up soda. The soda spikes his insulin levels, he's gaining weight, he's more tired throughout the day, and I keep telling them, I say, look, if you would just give up the soda, your hormone levels are right where they need to be. You're so close to feeling amazing, but he's just addicted to food. So you absolutely have to make changes in your nutrition, you have to make changes in your sleep, in your lifestyle, and come home. But most of my patients, I would say within one month, will call me, will email me, and say, Dr. Breen, you changed my life. So the awareness now, uh, testosterone replacement is becoming, I guess, more mainstream. Right. And, and it is healthy, right. you're saying. Oh, absolutely. And what's happening is this. You, you, you cycle, you go and surf, or you go and play golf with your buddies. I fix Fred. Fred tells John, John tells Jim. Now there's a demand for it. The drug companies realize this, so they're starting to market to the patients where they never marketed to them before. We've known this for years, Randy. It's all over the literature that hormones are healthy, hormones are safe, hormones will make you feel better. You'll golf more, you'll surf more. 
You can play with your kids longer. You can play with your grandkids longer. That's what hormones do for you. They're absolutely safe. And yeah, the, the, the drug companies want in on the action because they see patients are demanding it. So on day one, a guy comes right. to you. And by the way, what are the oldest patients that you see? I see patients in their 90s because really? this is what happens. Patients lose their independence as they age. And the last thing a guy or a woman wants to do is have to depend on their kids, depend on a skilled nurse to be able to get up, feed themselves, walk around the house. When you give an 80-year-old guy testosterone, when you give him DHEA, when you supplement with thyroid, you give him vitamin D and you, you, and you improve his nutrition, they're more independent. The studies and the research shows Do that. they come back and they tell you? They say, doctor? Absol well, absolutely. Because one, I'm required to see them. So I see them. I see them monthly until the hormones are optimized, and then I talk to them regularly in my practice, and then I, they have to absolutely come in once a year. But I am constant communication with my patients because I think about my patients all the time. The beautiful part of my practice is this. I really get to spend a lot of time with patients. When patients come in, I'll see them for two hours. When they leave, they get their hormones, they pick up the phone, Dr. Breen, I know you explained this to me, but what does this mean again? and I have to go over it with them time and time again. I can rattle off the top of my head my last 50 <laughs> patients I've seen because okay. I think a lot about them and I care about them. So that's really important in this practice is I actually get to choose the type of practice where I want because I'm a solo practitioner. Okay, now we're talking a lot about hormones and if you're just tuning in, we're talking about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy uh, for men and, and you're saying science is backing up what you're saying. There's evidence behind... Absolutely. That, that what we're talking about is, is uh, safe, Absolutely. it's effective. So let's talk about the other hormones. Okay, so you're a big believer in testosterone. What are the other commonly replaced hormones that you replace with men? Sure, with so we look, at, we look at testosterone, we look at DHEA, we look at thyroid, we look at vitamin D, we'll look at their IGF-1 level, which is a, uh, an independent marker for growth hormone output. Those are the most commonly looked at hormones that we check in every single guy that comes to my office. It's not just about testosterone because okay. DHEA has health benefits, thyroid has health benefits, growth hormone has, growth hormone has health benefits. We look at everything. How does somebody know if they're low in thyroid? Like what are the symptoms? Guys low in thyroid. Perfect. Guys low in thyroid, guy or women, classic. And 25% of the population will have subclinical th hypothyroidism. They're cold, they're tired, fatigued. I can't tell you how many patients that come in to see me with all the classic symptoms of hypothyroidism or that they need thyroid and they're put on an antidepressant, or they're told their levels are normal. So if you're cold, tired, fatigued, your energy's down, you're having difficulty losing weight, you're and constipated. constipation is Yeah, constipation, because this is, what, this is what thyroid does. Thyroid quarterbacks your metabolism. If you and I had to sit here and eat an apple, how quickly we metabolize that, digest it, and then convert that apple into energy is dependent upon thyroid. Have, how every cell in the body um, utilizes minerals, nutrients, vitamins, hormones is dependent upon thyroid. So thyroid is a master hormone. And I see a lot of patients, I take care of patients every single day who come in with all those symptoms, they go to their doctor, they tell them, they look at their levels, their levels will fall into normal range and they say it's not your thyroid, when in fact it is their thyroid. We treat them with thyroid, they feel great. Energy levels go up right away? Energy levels will improve. Yeah, when you How get, soon? I mean, your right. typical patient that comes in, exactly. out of 100 patients that are tired, fatigued, low energy, libido, all the things you talked about, right. how soon does some of them feel results? So some patients you hit, you get the dose perfectly. So what we do is this, we pick a starting dose. So if a patient comes in, we look at their levels, we look at their symptoms, we give them a starting dose. If their starting dose gets them in the optimal range, they'll feel better, they'll feel better within weeks, immediately. Okay. Some patients, when you put them on hormones, we, re -chat, we retest their hormones in a month, we see how they're feeling, and we use the labs as a guide to our therapy. So some, some patients, we actually have to increase the dose or back off the dose, depending on how they feel and what their labs are. This is a really important point that I want patients okay. to understand. Doctors are trained to look at lab values and treat the lab value and ignore the patient. What do I mean when I say that? Patient comes in, Dr. Breen, I don't have sex with my wife as often as I used to. I'm not waking up with morning erections. I'm cold, tired, and fatigued. No, you're not, Fred. Your labs say you're not. The labs say you're normal. And okay. that's how we're trained to take care of patients when really we should be Is that using... a bit of an exaggeration? No, that's not an exaggeration okay. at all. I take care of patients every day. I make my living taking care of patients who are told you have, quote, normal thyroid, normal testosterone so you look levels. At it, so would you say you're more aggressive then? 
No. With, uh, with, with hormones, I mean, you want them to be at the high range, not just the low, middle, or whatever range. Right. So we look right? at optimal. Am I getting that right? Correct. And some okay. patients just need more. So even though you may have a normal testosterone, a normal thyroid level, we know that receptors, a thyroid receptor, a hormone receptor gets downregulated as we age. It doesn't function as well as we used to. That's not a progressive idea. That's been in the medical literature since the 70s. They looked at thyroid hormone resistance. So you can take a patient who has normal thyroid levels, which by the way, I had a normal thyroid level. My thyroid was 3.1 smack dead in the middle of normal. I was cold, I had cold hands, cold feet. I was tired and I was having a hard time losing weight. Okay. I started taking a grain and a half in a thyroid in addition to the testosterone, in addition to the DHEA. My energy levels are through the roof. My workouts are great. My mood is way better than what it, when it, what it used to. And um, I feel, I do, I feel incredible. So it's not just a matter of having normal levels. And the medical literature says to do that. The medical literature, if you look at the medical literature, and if, when doctors call me, if patients go back to their doctors, what they need to do is say, well, what does the medical literature say? If you look at the medical literature, the medical literature says, keep your testosterone levels up in the upper quartile. Patients who are cold, tired, and fatigued, if you keep their free T3 level, which is the active thyroid hormone, okay. in the upper range of normal, which is what we shoot for, their energy levels improve. They have, it's easier for well, them to metabolize What if somebody says food. this? My, I was talking to a friend of mine, knowing you're going to come in. And he says, uh, t my brother had a problem with his prostate. My dad had prostate cancer. He goes, the last thing I want to do is take testosterone. Right. What is your response to that? Because I'm sure there's people watching sure. that sort of thing in the same thing. Right. And actually, if you watch some of the commercials, testosterone actually say, there's a warning that it can increase your risk of cancer when nothing can be further from the truth. The medical evidence is so clear, Randy, that there is absolutely zero correlation between testosterone levels and prostate cancer. As a matter of fact, think about this for a second. Guys get, test, guys get prostate cancer at the time of their life when? When their testosterone when levels are the lowest. Interesting. Exactly, when Interesting. they're older. If testosterone caused cancer, we would be trying to lower it in every 18-year-old male that comes through our clinic. Good point. The New England okay. Journal of Medicine, the Journal of Cancer, the Mayo Clinic, they've looked at all the literature on testosterone and prostate cancer, and what they've said is this, conclusively, and I will, st I will stand on my grave defending this, there is absolutely zero correlation between testosterone and prostate cancer. As a matter of fact, the higher levels, the more progressive urologists right now are putting guys with prostate cancer on testosterone as soon as possible. Because, I have I have urologists because they feel better. Now. now we are just about out of time, so I have to ask you about DHEA. Correct. You're a fan of DHEA. I do. I take DHEA. Every patient over 40 gets it. Any patient on corticosteroids or steroids gets it, and this is the reason why. DHEA is a precursor hormone. That's a precursor to estrogen and testosterone in the body. It's made okay. in the adrenal glands. DHEA has been shown in the literature. The higher levels, the less chance you have of getting metabolic syndrome. It's inversely related to metabolic syndrome. Well, what's metabolic syndrome? It's high blood pressure, it's high triglycerides, it's insulin resistance, and it's uh, increased abdominal obesity. The higher levels, the less chance you have of getting all that. DHEA improves the immune, improves the immune system by lowering cortisol levels, which actually reduces your risk of right? cancer. Okay. It reduces, improves your cholesterol. DHEA improves body composition. There is a ton of information in the psychiatric literature on how DHEA improves mood. And that's one thing I haven't even really touched on. Hormones improve mood. I can't tell you how many patients that come in with depression, with mood disorders. So the men, when you we're balance, men today. There's right. a lot of, and, exactly. and, and obviously I don't know any guys like this. They're not gonna tell me. Right. So they confide in you. Of course. What do they say? They're depressed? Sure. Patient, they'll come in and they'll say, look, my get up and go has gotten up and left, right? Their drive and determination of work is gone. They don't want to have sex with their spouses often. They're not waking up with morning erections. These are things that guys don't openly admit to each other, but behind closed doors, they tell me all day long. And I tell them, look, this is physiologic. This is what happens. We age because we lose hormones. The reason why at 37, at 38, at 40, you started noticing a dip in your libido is because our testosterone levels decline one to 3% a year. This is normal. This is what's supposed to happen to your body. So do you believe then that every 50 year old watching this is in, like, like women, I guess they Correct. call it menopause. Correct. Men are in, a, in an andropause. Correct. So are you saying that every 50 year old could benefit from a little bit of hormone optimization, as you say? Yes, and the medical literature- Is that right? So you yeah. feel that way? The medical literature supports that too. Again, remember, guys have testosterone, the higher testosterone level, the less chance you have of dying from all causes. That's heart disease, that's cancer, which 90% of us are gonna die of heart disease. What are we doing to reduce our risk of heart disease? Well, we have a hormone that's anti-inflammatory. It decreases body fat, it increases lean muscle mass, it improves your relationships because it improves your sex drive. You know, this is, a, this is a, uh, a very important topic for me and it's really near and dear to my heart. Look, look at the divorce rate 
in Orange County or in the United States. Big, right. everywhere. It's huge. And why? When you talk to couples, the number one thing when I talk to couples, they're not having sex. They're living with each other. They're cohabitating, but they stop having sex. You think this is a sex. hormone issue? I think, I think for many people, it is absolutely a hormone issue because guys have erectile dysfunction. They don't want to admit it. I have guys tell me this. Okay. They have declining libido. And what happens? The women get insecure. My friend who I was telling you about earlier in the show who called me, who's 44, marital problems, why? His wife's insecure. He is not attracted to me anymore. He doesn't love me because he's not having sex. That's not the truth. When you, so when they take the testosterone, they are attracted to their partner again? It's not that they're attracted to their partner. They, listen. But is that part of it, obviously? Yeah, that's part of it, but their libido, their desire okay. to have sex. And when your desire to sex goes up, you have more sex with your wife. When you have more sex with your wife, you have a bitter marriage. You say you that the partner, marriage. they'll bring their partner in. That means it gets out of balance. You absolutely have to fix both because the last thing I want to do is, is fix the guy's sex drive if his wife doesn't have the sex drive. And it's equally important to take care of the, both the husband and wife or, or both partners. Absolutely, 100%. You do bioidentical hormones for women as well. Absolutely. Big part of it. And we're going to have you back to talk specifically about that. But, but final message, okay, because, you know, you know, we've talked a little bit on the phone. And, and, and I know we're talking about hormones, but, I mean, you do some sophisticated, you know, GI. I mean, I mean you're looking at, you know, gut issues. You're right. looking at their adrenals. You're looking at how they sleep. It's not just throwing hormones. Of course, it's not all just about so what, hormones. So, so are you an anti-aging doctor? Are you, I mean, what, 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 what do you call yourself? I like to call myself, a qual I practice quality of life medicine, preventive medicine. Some, pe some people like to call it anti-aging. It, it's all lumped into how do I get patients feeling and functioning better now and preventing future disease? Because behind the scenes, what I, and I do stress this to patients when they come in, is look, when you're on hormones, I'm reducing your risk of heart disease and cancer. You believe that? I absolutely believe that because the medical literature shows that. This is not my opinion. This is, medical, okay. this is medical fact. So okay. when, you know, if, a, if their doctor came to me and says, why is my patient on testosterone? I could show them the 50 articles that says, this is the reason why we're using testosterone Very in your patient. Absolutely. Well, it's, good for you. It's changed my life. It's changed my patient's life. I love what I do. I'll never stop doing this. I honestly don't look forward to retirement. I want to do this my entire Would life. Would you say every week you get a patient that comes to you and says... I've never felt better than I've felt I could in pick years. Up, I could pick up the phone right now, and we could call 20 patients who I, really? I could tell you have changed their life. And what if a guy's in his 60s? I know a guy who has money, he's got success, right. and he's in his 60s. And uh, he says, but I feel pretty good, because you know, I, I think I've told you, I take testosterone. Right. I feel good. If I right. don't take it, I don't feel as good. Right. More, for me, it's more about energy. Right. But I said, you know what? I don't know if you know what you're missing. Right. So what do you say to the person that says, you know, I'm 60 and I feel pretty good? Right. So patients don't know how good they can feel. So they don't realize how great their energy levels could be. They don't realize how much their workouts will improve. And I do. I have a 60-year-old guy. He runs a, a yacht club. And he came to me, and he, you know, he, he wasn't on medication. So he exercised. He, he was out in the water all day long. And I said, look, if we optimize your hormone levels, you're going to want to sail that much more. You're going to have more energy for your clients. You're going to have more energy to put in your business. And that's exactly did what happened. Did he end happens. up doing it? He absolutely did. And did we that have, happen? We balanced all his hormones, and he feels perfect. Really? Absolutely. Like a young guy again? Do they say that? Well, I will say this. There's, there's other components to how you feel other than the hormones. So that we fix his hormones. This guy happened to be motivated. He ate organic. He ate very clean. He did go to the gym and exercise. The one area where we needed to work on him with is sleep. Because if you don't sleep, you're going to be fatigued the next day. No matter how many hormones you take, if you don't get a good night's sleep, you're going to be tired. And that's been proven so in my life. So you people sleeping again? I work on, I, I stress the importance of sleep to patients. Turning off your phone, turning off your computers, how to rest your mind. We use, I use melatonin in high doses, compounded sleep. But you prescribe, me, I mean, regular medicine. I will prescribe pharmacy, absolutely. I have okay. patients, look, Randy, I have patients who clearly need blood pressure medication, and we get them on blood pressure medication until they lose the 100 pounds and their blood pressure naturally comes okay. down. So absolutely, I, I do believe in drugs and surgery. God forbid I get into an accident. I want a surgeon to take care of me. But think about this. Most disease progresses to 80% to killing you before you see a symptom. That would be like a football coach not putting his defense out in the field until they march down the 20-yard line. And we don't see most patients in medicine until they're symptomatic. By that time, it's a little bit too late. So what we're, we're, we're trying to accomplish with hormones, okay. with nutrition, and sleep, and exercise, is to reverse the plaque that they have in their, in their carotid that might break off one day and cause a stroke. You do that. You do it. Oh, absolutely. Every patient that comes into my office. And we are I'm, out of time, but when they go in, what, oh, yeah. what usually happens on, on day one? And we have about a minute left. When they come in on day one, I have all their blood work in front of me. 
I, I go over all their blood work, the cardiovascular blood work, all their hormones. I do a complete physical, I go over their nutrition. I look, actually look and request a nutrition log for my patients. I go into their sleep habits, I go into exercise habits. I do a complete physical exam. I do a carotid ultrasound to look for plaque and screen for plaque. It's, How important is that, by the way? It's a 10 minute exam that we can tell patients immediately, do you have plaque in your carotid artery? 70 to 95% correlation. If they have plaque in their carotid, they have plaque in their coronaries to their heart. Okay. I do body composition, I do a full physical. And then I come up with a comprehensive plan. I, over that two hours, I give them a nutrition plan, I teach them what to eat, how to eat, when to eat it, how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbohydrates, how many grams of fat. We tell them to drink, obviously, half their body weight in water. Patients don't drink water. I don't know why they drink coffee. So you're they like drink their sweet. coach? Yeah, well, I'm a, I, I do, I am, listen, I'm passionate about health. I'm into fitness, and I do love coaching patients because patients just want answers. They don't want to be told they're normal. They're not normal. They need to just go out and What's make What's the best changes. thing a patient ever told you that comes to mind? Dr. Breen, you've changed my life. Good. So the awareness now, uh, testosterone replacement is becoming, I guess, more mainstream. Right. And, and it is healthy, right. you're saying. Oh, absolutely. And what's happening is this. You, you, you cycle, or you go and surf, or you go and play golf with your buddies. I fix Fred. Fred tells John. John tells Jim. Now there's a demand for it. The drug companies realize this, so they're starting to market to the patients where they never marketed to them before. We've known this for years, Randy. It's all over the literature that hormones are healthy, hormones are safe, hormones will make you feel better. You'll golf more. You'll surf more. You can play with your kids longer. You can play with your grandkids longer. That's what hormones do for you. They're absolutely safe. And yeah, the, the, the drug companies want in on the action because they see patients are demanding it. I want to thank you for coming on the show. And they can go to your website. Absolutely, drbreen.com. They can call us directly. I get on the phone personally with a lot of patients, and I spend a lot of time answering questions because patients will still have questions. Okay. And they want to know, how, is you, how are you going to help me? And Good. so sometimes it takes you know, 20 to 30 minutes to get them comfortable because they've read this online or they've read that online or they've been told this by their friends. And I sort of have to set the record straight and let them know that I definitely can help them. Good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Awesome. Thanks, Great Randy. stuff. Great Appreciate stuff. It. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online, you go to our website. We'll feature it there. Just put in the search Dr. Breen. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.